up. Okay, y'all, in an hour or less, I World 08, and me echoing out through the speakers of the computer bits coming on. <laughs> I was wondering what that buzzing sound was I was hearing. I'm hearing my own voice come out of that computer. <laughs> In a delayed fashion. <laughs> Except it sounds like a bug going... <laughs> uh, whether or not that's getting into the audio or not, I have no earthly idea. Um, it's lots happened in the uh, past few weeks, and apparently we're going to miss next week, right? <laughs> Uh, my schedule's going to be real uh, busy until November. Okay. Then, At which point you have two weeks and then it's busy again. <laughs> pretty much. Okay. Is it going to ever be unbusy at some point? Like, maybe next year if we can actually get back into a regular swing of things? Or, no idea. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I welcome the business, so. Oh, yeah. Like, it's okay. Oh, okay. I know. It's, I got it oh. out. I was doing work right before Jordan called it, and we just did Linux, and he just got off like 30 seconds before you came in. I was like, I was afraid it was going to be overlap there or something. Uh, yeah. And the good news is, um, why I'm running around like a chicken with my head cut off myself, that means there might actually be some disposable income for building up and fixing all these freaking problems from jerry-rigging this stuff. I hope. I hope. I hope I may actually be able to afford to do some of this right. I don't know, but it's going to be at least six months before I know what's going on there. Uh, anyways, um, what? Wh wh where do you want to start? We've only got an hour. Uh, I'm not sure the iLife family pack's even relevant anymore, because that was a rumor three weeks ago, if not four, I forget at this point. I mean, you're ahead of the game than I am. I have been so out of the loop. Uh, and like, uh, it's like at one point, it's like there's been, uh, this was like a rumor that came out right before Apple's announcement that maybe there was going to be uh, a new version of iLife announced, because it's kind of due, uh, and su supposedly it was going to have family pack pricing, but of course that isn't what Apple announced, you know? <laughs> yeah, and announced other stuff. Uh, have you had a chance to look at the new iTunes? Yeah, I have it on. Uh, I'm using it on my um, Mac Pro here. Okay. <laughs> Matter of fact, I've bashed this, but I put my tinfoil theory out there. Whether or not it was in one of the episodes that got lost to the ether of technical snafus, or actually made it onto YouTube, I have no idea at this point. Um, but as far as that new UI, mm -hmm. you're an Apple user. You like Apple. What do you think of it? <laughs> you know, uh, shoot. Uh, the only thing I really noticed different was uh, the color scheme and, and layout on the left. And then they, of course, ping is right here. And then the vertical buttons. But I don't use um, iTunes all that much other than really to purchase music. Right. And then I use Zoom. Uh, most of the time, it's, it's weird. I, I, I buy the music from iTunes only to really transfer it over to my Zoom software and um, play the music on, on Zoom. That, that, that must work a lot more seamlessly on a Mac than it does on the Windows side, because what you just described would be a pain in the butt on the Windows side of things. Well, I mean, it is Zoom software to run on Mac, so... <laughs> my my uh, PCs and Macs, you know, communicate seamlessly with each other on my uh, network. So really, all I do is uh, they they they're both structured uh, very similarly when it comes to directory structures and things like that. And I just simply have a share on each machine, and as soon as you know music is purchased, I convert to MP3 and um, send it to my. Uh, I have a central hard drive, and then from there uh, I can have it picked up on any Windows computer or other Mac in my house. And so, even rather than even try and get them to play nice with each other, you just dump it into a network drive and share it everywhere. That's, yeah, it's probably the way to do it. Uh, it's like, I, I, I honestly wonder on that th three button thing, and, and I'd rather or not this made it into YouTube or not at this point, 
I wonder if this isn't a preview of whatever's going to be OS 10.7. If this is like fixing to be a change for the whole OS. It, it might be. Uh, let me see. Like another application, I could see that it would take up more real estate being vertical. I guess the vertical buttons are helpful. Or, I don't know if that's the right word to use, but I guess they would go along more with this iTunes bar because it's quite thick. But I have application where the window, uh, you know, has nothing. It's just uh, straight across, and having vertical buttons would just simply add uh, and take away from screen real estate. So I guess if they use it wisely, uh, it really doesn't bother me all that much. Well, the, here, okay, here's the thing on this, and this has been a complaint both, and it's ridiculously old news at this point. For those of you wondering what we're talking about, it's because sure. it's been on a hiatus. But it's the complaint from even diehard Apple people on that has been it's an inconsistent UI. It is. It, it, it's 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 like pick one and go with it. It's and that there's no reason for those buttons to be moved over there for just one application, which is why one of the very first things people figured out how to do was hack it back like it used to be. Um, it's just. I, I don't know. I, I take it it doesn't bug you like it does some people. I mean, it's because, um, look, I mean, I don't even, I, I use it for movies a lot. If I'm in iTunes, it's really for movies and uh, or rental shows and things like that. I don't use it heavily like other power users, power users or, or avid users of iTunes. Uh, that probably might get irritated from it. It is odd. Um, uh, but it's not the first time that Apple's really thrown something out in the wild. Uh, I, know, I remember Tiger had some attributes that um, were unique for, for Tiger versus its um, predecessor OS X uh, versions. And they just... Uh, it's uh, I, I, I it's different when you do it for a whole OS revision like Tiger or Leopard or even Snow Leopard uh, or whatever the heck the next cat in the series is going to be because then it's an OS-wide change. It, it, why it's different than its predecessor, it's an OS-wide change. When you do it just... It's been different. iTunes has always really been different, in my opinion, because a lot of people aren't, well, it's, it's, it was written in uh, C, you know, and it's not the typical Objective-C software, and they'd be correct. Um, QuickTime used to have that same UI difference that you could detect. I think that they've since changed it, but um, I don't know. It, we're gonna, we're, I mean, people are really going to... I mean, if we're going to argue about vertical buttons, I mean, there's got to be more <laughs> things to discuss in life. I don't know. <laughs> my, my, my only argument with against it is that you, you have to hack to, to switch it back. Uh, I, I don't think it would have been that hard for Apple to have made it a toggle switch somewhere in the tools menu to go classic menu buttons or something for people it bugged rather than having to go in terminal and do a hack. Other than that, like you say, does it make any difference if the robot's this way or that way? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, and maybe they're just beta testing it, but like you said, that's um, that would be an awful waste of real estate if they're really going to do that on every single application. I would, I would hope they would not, yeah. Uh, it is Apple. Steve Jobs has a vision in the middle of the night. The whole company sits up and goes, let's make it happen. That's like... <laughs> Uh, let me see. That's getting off of the oh dear lord topics and moving on to shot. Ah, uh, well, I don't want to do two bad apple things on top of a shot, so let's move to uh, developments going on in iOS. Uh, I actually, why I don't like iOS and I don't like the iOS devices, I think this is a smart thing to do for this Christmas. Uh, and that is because, much to my dismay and disappointment, Android is not going to be a competitor this Christmas. Unless, um, uh, well, okay, yeah. as things stand right now, we might have a better idea in November, but right now, uh, the official tablet version of Android has not been released. Yeah, and the tablets cannot run the Android Marketplace because Google doesn't want them to. They will promise, promising, or Palm HP is promising something 
don't know if they're going to make it by Christmas, but... Well, no, 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 that's the thing. There's a lot of stuff slated that's looking like it's going to come out between February and April of next year, but that isn't this holiday season. Uh, if it's not on the shelves by Thanksgiving, it's not on the shelves in time for this holiday season. It's just, it's, sure. it's that simple. Um, so, even though I don't want this to happen, it's looking like it's going to be an iPad Christmas. And Apple's capitalizing on that uh, by sticking the iPad everywhere that the sun shines. In some places, it doesn't. <laughs> um, it's I'm sorry. To me, it's not, it's not worth $499. <laughs> well, you think the iPad's too much? Too much, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and well, the reason I made a whole video advocating that why I like the iPad and why I might get the iPad, but I've come to the realization that it, it, its price tag is too high. I'm waiting for the second version, and um, they'll drop the price like they did the iPhone, and then I'll purchase the iPad. Well, I, I'm waiting to see how Android shapes up, uh, just to see there. I mean, iPad isn't really an option for me because of the way they make you activate it. Uh, so I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to go Android regardless. Uh, I would also well, let me put it this way: by the time I'm ready for the iPad to buy the iPad, you know, we'll see. But I'm I, I am holding out um, for Palm's devices next year. Uh, the so, HP uh, tablet uh, slate devices that are supposedly going to be WebOS. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, and like, and honestly, I would like to see that happen if for no other reason than to make it more competition. Sure. Because uh, sure. the, the more competition, the better. I, 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 I'm a little afraid that uh, as of late, Android's starting to sit on its ass. Uh, I mean, you know, they don't need to be as fast as they used to be. I mean, obviously, when they were cut, cranking out version after version, it was causing uh, a lot of uh, it, it's, headache it, in terms of uh, development. And no, that, that's not what I'm complaining about. I'm okay with that slowing down. What I'm complaining about is, I mean, for crying out loud, we have T-Mobile releasing an Android handset with a hardware anti-root kit on it. So I see what you're getting at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm like, it, it's like if if we start if competition starts to die down, uh, especially with the official Google line dead, and, and and the only reason iOS has joined the 21st century, much to the benefit of all Apple users, is because Android was riding its ass. If that stops, iOS is going to stand still. Android's going to stand still. What's available to the end user for innovation and continued development and actual getting out of this bull crap, whatever the carrier gives me, is going to come to a grinding, screeching halt. Yeah, it'll be like uh, similar to the, when the PC wars first started. You know, there was round one, there was a wall, and then it really revamped with the release of Windows 95. Mm -hmm. I think before that, it already. The lines had already been drawn in the sand, and then there was a a uh, retraction a bit from being so aggressive, uh, and then it started up again. I think, yeah, certainly it would make sense of a, a business pattern within the in the, in the mobile world. Um, but hey, you know, Android is now pretty much everywhere. You have uh, well, no, no, that that's the other thing. It's like the the good thing about Android, and I was saying this with Jordan just a little bit ago, is that. Uh, which is no longer a good thing with Android. Until recently, Android devices were not only competing against iOS and WebOS and soon to be Windows 7, but they were also competing with each other. Which There were plenty of people who were knocking on this and going, no, we don't need to be fighting with each other. I liked the fact that Android fought with Android because Android was making Android be better. As soon as you yeah. put an end to that competition, it didn't. It, it's not fighting with anyone. It needs to be fighting with somebody. So it, because it's that little tit for tit, cod for cod that makes everything better. It's the ultimate one-upsmanship that never ends. Yeah, 